as it's called, um, the united forces coming together, it has to deal with that contradiction. It has to deal with that contradiction. Now, what um, was some of the calls? Of course, you would be aware that the, the Labor Day platform had called for the removal of five ministers. One has, is the Minister of Finance. Because the Minister of Finance seemed to be on a path of austerity. He, in his mind, have adopted the traditional economic model of cut everything and tax everything. So cut jobs, cut public spending, and at the same time, tax everybody. Now, there has to be a problem with that because in other countries where they have uh, um, where the economic impact was severe in terms of the recession which was which took place in Europe and also to the United in the United States, there were two options: austerity or growing your way out of the crisis. The labor movement proposed in an actual proposal called Labor's Economic Alternative Plan. Now listen, let us take the model of growing out of the economy, growing ourselves out of the, um, sorry, out of the crisis. And rather than take that model, the minister rejected that model and adopted the model of let's cut our way out of the crisis and impose greater taxation. Gary, the social implications of that is going to be felt and it's not very far not long from now and we're struggling already with crime we're struggling with a whole range of social issues all of which are symptom symptoms of what we in what we what we did in the 1980s with structural adjustment now we're feeling the social we're paying the social price for that and you're telling me that here we are back in the same as they say in the same khaki pants because now you're adopting the, the same model, which did not, which did not uh, augur well for the social fabric of Trinidad and Tobago. Next is security, the issue of crime, crime um, um, and violence. And you're telling me that uh, we still have this retired Major General Edmund Dillon. Now, what is interesting is, do you know that from um, as far back as UNC in 1995 period, we've been trying to use these retired army officials. And Gary, they have all failed. <laughs> they have all failed. And so we stuck now with a retired Major General Edmund Dillon, whilst crime continues to be, well, continues to get more and more um, um, barbaric. Barbaric, if uh, is the word. Then you had Minister of Tourism, call for her to go and you um, the TDC workers who took a stand uh, they won their matter in the industrial court last week Friday so there's an injunction in terms of the closing down of, of, of TDC and the whole treatment meted out to those workers at TDC and of course Ministry of Works Minister, Minister of Works um, Rohan Sinanan and how he treated with that sea bridge issue I mean, that is total disrespect to the people of Tobago. And let me just use this opportunity to commend, because on that Labor Day pat platform, there was a call to go across to Tobago to stage a march. And Gary, let me tell you, it was a very successful march and uh, demonstration in Tobago um, on Friday gone by the joint federations of, of trade unions. And I want to of guess 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 who expats you the call was listen you cannot be sending home tens and thousands of workers and have expats doing jobs which are performed by competent and qualified locals and then we have families people still living and the call was